hey darlings welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i clean my kitchen and my stove from this dirty stove to this clean and neat kitchen keep on watching so this is how um the kitchen was looking it wasn't looking proper i wasn't looking nice i'm going to show you guys how i um get rid of those um the dirt on my stove the stains on um, my stove okay the stove is silver so yeah it has to be clean all the time so what you will need is sunlight liquid white vinegar and baking powder or soda okay both works and i use domestos just to you know keep the surfaces clean and free from germs that is only the reason why i use domestos child like my kitchen will always be smelling fresh and will always be smelling of a little bit of domestos because i love a nice fresh kitchen okay so i start by pouring um, my vinegar i use like white vinegar this is what you should use and yeah i'm just taking my um what is that called the thing you used to <laughs> wash dishes was well, like wash plates i'm just you know um spreading the vinegar all over yeah i'm just tasting to see how hard it is and i can see like yeah you can see the stains are the mm -hmm. i had to leave these stains for a while so that not for a while but it was like for a day for the whole day i didn't clean the stove because for the sole purpose of this video okay that is why i left yeah that's what happens to silver stoves if you leave it for a whole day or two days wow it'll be a mess and it'll be hard to clean so i'm using now um baking powder you can also use baking soda i had baking soda like works um really well and normally i normally have baking powder in the house so this is what i normally use and it works wonders okay so i'm just using that um, sponge thing to um even the baking soda everywhere to just spread the baking soda um where i poured my vinegar so that like they can mix and um the process can start and you can leave this um for like 30 minutes if you want 20 minutes it depends on how long you want to leave or let's just say you will come back when it's dry that is what i normally do when this whole thing is dry that is when i'll come back okay after that i will put my um sunlight liquid again and then start doing um what i was doing before just spreading everything evenly so that like everything can mix and yeah this works really perfectly as sunlight um removes all the dirt but sometimes not sometimes most of the time it can't remove like hard um especially like that so it's to if you mix with um all these ingredients um yeah oh wow are the ingredients <laughs> if you mix all these yeah it'll work so leave this until like it's dry and then when it's dry come back you see how it is now now i'm just adding water on the um, surface like on the stove um okay i realized this one that i'm using now it doesn't really spread water but you can see it's coming off you can see it's coming off so yeah i think i decided to put uh, water after this because i wanted it to be easy but i don't recommend you use this um steel thing um that has bigger like strands use that softer one it really works and it doesn't like you know um ruin the stove or whatever that is why i started using that but i also used it because that is the only one that i had at that time the other ones like they finish too quickly okay they finish too quickly that those like um are small ones the ones which are softer so i didn't have those ones that time so i just decided to use that but you can see how now easy it is to do guys don't believe those who say you'll just take a cloth and then when you wipe it's gone it doesn't work like that okay when you put that you will have to you know um do what i'm doing now for you to see results so yeah i'm done i'm using my cloth it's like a soft cloth to um wipe the dirt away to wipe like everything 
that I was using. You see, there's still a little bit left. And we're going to fix that. This is to see what is left and so that you can like continue um, cleaning. You can continue, you know, um, at the clinic and you can clean where you see um, it's not cleaned. So, yeah, this is what I normally do to clean my stove. And this makes my stove like look really new and nice and shiny. You can see I'm showing you guys the spots that are left. And I'm going to fix that. Normally, I take um, those knobs out, those switches for the stoves. Sorry. For the stoves, I normally take them out. I know I wasn't taking. Okay, I did take them out. I think I think I was um, cleaning first. Yeah, now I'm taking them out. I normally take them out to make sure I properly, thoroughly clean the stove and that works perfectly you can see there's really um nothing much to clean there since i had used that liquid because um if there's not too much dirt and then you just pull those things that i told you guys it will be easier to clean even now it will make it so much easier to clean i'm just doing now the final touches to make sure that my stove is looking nice and pretty and I really loved how it turned out. I'm just still to, you know, finish off and, and clean um, those things that are left and what is left. But I'm really happy. You can see this combination works. If you use sunlight, if you use bicarbonate of soda, or if you use baking powder, it works so much for your stove. And it makes and it leaves your stove looking really shiny and really nice. And um, with domestos, of course, for the uh, surfaces and um, the stove, it leaves the kitchen smelling fresh, which I really, really, really love. Okay, so I was just putting everything in there. That is the water I was using to clean the stove. So, yeah, guys, this, it was dirty, child. So, from this... To that how cute how clean and how smart does my stove look so yeah guys thank you so much for watching my video see you again on my next one tell me if you want more cleaning videos bye